Good morning, everyone. I am making chicken pot pies, but I'm making them a little different today because I have a bunch of leftovers I wanna use. So I have chopped up some leftover grilled chicken that we had the other night. Um, I have a little bit of butternut squash left that I roasted with some olive oil, a little tiny bit of maple syrup, and some rosemary and thyme. And then we like green beans and corn, but any variation that you want to use for this, any meat, any veggies, you choose what you like to make this. Um, this is such a good sauce to use. It's um, a little bit of butter and flour and chicken stock and milk, and it just makes the perfect sauce for these. All right, so I also have some Gouda cheese that's left over from the pasta I made, so I'm actually gonna incorporate that into this. So I wanna show you how I put these together. So literally, you just, you just do a little mix and um, I'm going to do like a little chicken in each one. I like to kind of layer so you don't have just one thing, one part of the chicken pot pie. I'm going to do a little bit of onion. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to do a little bit of sweet corn. and some green beans. And you can see these are pretty hearty bowls. They're pretty big. Okay, I'm gonna use a little bit of this delicious, crispy butternut squash in here, which is gonna be so good with that Gouda cheese and chicken. Okay, let me wipe my hands real quick. Okay, and then I'm gonna do a little layer of cheese, which is very unusual in a pot pie. But I'm, I'm gonna do it. Okay, so let me go ahead and layer this up. I'm gonna do exactly what I just did, but I'm gonna use all of my stuff, and then I'll come back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I ended up just making two of these and two really big ones. Look how full they are. They just look so yummy. Okay, so I'm gonna take my sauce and I'm gonna pour it over. I might have way too much even in here for it to soak down. I'm actually gonna grab a knife. And what we want is we want that sauce to go all down in there. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of lift it as I pour sauce. And lift it. Okay, keep lifting. We want it nice and saucy. I'm just gonna actually kind of mix it. I think I just over, overfilled my bowls, but I like a really full pot pie. Like when you cut into your pastry, you shouldn't go way down into a hole. Like it should be like right there under your pastry. So it's worth going through a little bit of this trouble. Mmm, smells good and it's not even cooking yet. A little more sauce. I hope y'all can see how I'm kind of doing this. Just want to make sure that that sauce gets all down in there. If not, you're going to have a very dry pot pie. My goodness. All right, a little bit more. This actually helps you kind of mix it too. All right, I think that's pretty good. I will put this on a cookie sheet pan because it's kind of probably bubble over. All right, so let's do the next one. I'm gonna start with it in, in there. And start this time in here. This sauce recipe should make you four, like decent size chicken pot pies. And isn't it unusual to have cheese in your pot pie? I mean, that's just like me, to do the unusual. 
All right, here we go. Mixing this one up a little bit. I like to put puffed pastry on the top of mine. It's my favorite. But you can buy store-bought pie crust. You can make your own pie crust. You can make some dumplings and put it on top. I mean, whatever you want to do. Um, when I used to make these for the kids, we would cut their initials out of the pie crust and put that on top. And um, they would know which ones were theirs because they picked what they wanted in them. It was really fun. I actually did that for a friend one time too. Dropped it off at her house. All right, so here we are. We are saucy and yummy and it's dripping everywhere, which is exactly what it should be doing. All right. I think sometimes we try to be too neat, but I am gonna to try to clean this a little bit because I want my pie, uh, my puffed pastry to stick to my bowl here a little bit. All right, so we're cleaned up. Okay, so this is just puffed pastry. I pulled it right out of the package. I didn't roll it. I didn't do anything. I just cut it. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little egg wash on it. I put quite a bit on this layer here because I want it to stick. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna pick it up and I'm just gonna flip it over. And I'm going to like pinch it down a little bit. Okay, I want it to stick. Flip this one over. Get some of my flour off of them. Okay, yum, y'all. So see how I'm pinching it down a little bit? All right. Now let's egg wash this side. The egg wash just gives it a beautiful color. That's basically, it gets it real brown and just so pretty. I'm making a mess, aren't I? You can tell I love being in here just making a mess. It's my favorite thing to do. It's all oozing everywhere, all over my counter. But that, when it comes out of the oven, that's what makes it look so yummy, is when it's just dripping everywhere. You just wanna dive in. All right. Okay, pinch it one last time down, stay down. And then I'm gonna take a knife. Where's my sharp knife? And I'm just gonna give it a little, a little vent here. Whoops, okay, there we go. Okay guys, these are going on my cookie sheet. They're going in the oven and I'll show you when they're done. Okay, you guys, they just, these just came out of the oven. Look at them. Whoops, didn't mean to hit the camera. I mean, do they look so ooey, gooey, yummy? Oh my goodness, I can't wait to dive into them. I hope you guys make these. They're really, really good.